Hi, welcome to Inspiration Daily for February 14th, 2022. I'm your host, Gina Greenlee of GinaGreenlee.com. Hey, today's inspiration is how to get the last drop of lotion out of tubes, you know, hand cream or face cream or whatever it is out of tubes that look like this. So this is this hand cream that I use smooth utter so now i guess there's bigger tubs but I, I i was picking these up at dollar tree before dollar tree became dollar 25 tree and there's really a lot in here but here's the problem see when you get i know this whole thing is coated with enough lotion to probably cream put cream on my entire body moisturize my entire body but see now i gotta scrunch this and do all of this and then okay so i got the cream out and then but when it really gets down to the nub, you know, I had to work too hard, man, and, you know, actually numbing up my fingertips. So I took two. <laughs> so what I do is, ta -da, I just take, I'll take a scissor, regular old craft scissor, and I cut these, I just cut the thing in half. And there's a whole lot of lotion in here. I mean, the thing is just goo gobs of lotion. Literally, I can cream, I can moisturize my whole, both of my legs and my feet and still have some left over. So um, there's a lot of cream in this here too. And so I'll squeeze to a point that I'm like, why am I killing myself trying to, you know, wrestle with this little tube when I could just cut the thing and then because there's enough cream in here for me to use a couple probably three or four or five more times before it's completely gone I put it in a little this now I know somebody's gonna say something about the plastic bag okay fine you can wrap you can put it in a glass jar or something where the air doesn't get to it I happen to do this but I do have glass jars I'm just saying you know I I attempt to do my part I know now this comes in here I haven't figured out how to make my own hand lotion but I might google that that could inspire me to google that because I know there's a lot of I'm using a lot of plastic tubes so someone said to me oh how'd you come up with this idea I said well she said when did you come up with this idea I said when I was 10 you know I grew up working class so when we you know we would scrape Whatever it was we were using, we used it. We used it fully. We didn't waste anything in my house. Food, lotion, toothpaste, hand soap. I mean, we would get down to the nub. So that's how I get all of my cream. Now somebody said, then she said to me, oh, well, well I could do that with toothpaste. Yeah, you could. Um, I think with, it's funny. I never thought about that. I mean, it's a similar kind of a tube. I think to me, hand cream feels a little more precious <laughs> than toothpaste, you know, and I also feel that the, the nature of the tube is that you, you can really, you can really get most of the toothpaste out without having to cut it. But that's how I, that's how I work my lotion and my inspiration. That's my inspiration for the day is for, for this video is, is really kind of getting the most out of stuff. You know, it's like. It's like, I mean, this is a real concrete example of it, but um, the whole idea of um, multi-purpose, multi-purposing things, uh, uh, okay, so something just came to my mind real quick. Hold on a second. So here's another example of this. So this is a dish towel, because that's part of my, part of my fabric art studio, my fashion design upcycling. So this is a, a cotton um, dish towel. Now, uh, some time ago, I don't know, about 14 years ago, the last time I owned a house, uh, I bought a house, there's 22 windows in the house. And when I saw how much draperies were, you know, window treatments were, I was like, oh my God, you know, 
I got to focus on paying the mortgage. I don't have all this money for window treatments. So I got a, a book um, by Martha Stewart because I, I, I used to go to Michael's all the time. So they have Martha Stewart books. Michael's is a craft chain um, in the United States. And so I, she talked about how you could make cafe curtains really inexpensively and, and still have it look very sweet. So she says you get linen or, or cotton dish towels that you like and then you then uh there were these these decorative clips that you get and then you just put it on a curtain rod and then you have these great cafe curtains and i remember she says you know you'll see she says you know if you think of cafes in i don't know in trendy areas of popular cities, Manhattan, where I'm from, or bistros in, in Paris, or in, in Europe, in Italy. I said, yeah, oh my God, so sweet. So I so I bought these, um, not these, but I bought the, um, at the time, and this goes back, I don't know, 20 years, <clears throat> these cotton uh, dish towels, that had a, um, uh, I think it had some French writing on it and it was like an image of a, like a vintage um, boulangerie, you know, like a, a Parisian boulangerie. Uh, and, and I made cafe curtains uh, for the window in my butler pantry of this house, which was really very charming. I, I love the butler pantry. And, uh, those are my cafe curtains for, I don't know, how long was I in the house? I don't know, maybe six, seven years. So then I moved that, then I moved to Florida and where you know, it's, it's blinds and all that. And that came with the apartment. <clears throat> so my dish towels that were, they were originally a dish towel it became a cafe curtain, a window treatment in my home. Then they became a dish towel. <laughs> They actually became, I actually used them for the original purpose, which was a dish towel. And to this day, I still have those dish towels. I got some holes in them, but I used those dish towels. So um, I'm, I'm really big on repurposing just because it makes sense to me. And it's, it's how I grew up. You know, I, my parents, my, my father was from the depression era. So, I mean, you know, he talked about, um, you know, you eat every part of the animal. If you're going to make, he talked about mutton stew, you know, you eat everything, you know, the eyeballs, the eyelashes. I mean, nothing, nothing goes to waste. So I'm, I'm a big fan of repurposing. So I, I'm, I'm inspiring myself to not, well, I haven't purchased any more of these plastic tubes of this cream because um, I didn't, I didn't feel like dealing with the squeezing and the cutting or whatever. <clears throat> but I will, I am inspired to, I don't know, see uh, what's out there that, you know, where I don't have to use plastic because I know it's just, it's just so horrendous, you know, for the environment. And, you know, maybe, maybe somebody watching this has a suggestion for me. So, but as I, as I go through these, that's how, that's how I'm going through these.